All right, so as you can see, we are putting up the Fry Fest, and people know how to do it over here. This dude is driving around with a skeleton holding a beer in the back of his truck to come to Fry Fest. <laughs> Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. I gotta give it to him. This is awesome. All right, folks. So right when you walk in, you can see this right here. This is um, the opening of Fry Fest. You're greeted with this right away. All right, folks, so you can see this right here, how this looks. This is the fountain. Uh, looks real good today. They got it looking real sharp, folks. Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, Vallejo, California. All right, folks, so here goes some of the merch. This is some of the stuff that they've been had from the past years, but there's not really anything on the back of these. Um, but yeah, they tended to bring them back and you got a lot of things here. So yeah, this one looks good. Look at that one, looks real good. Uh, looks like the same stuff. They brought back this one. They should have these characters like walking around, don't you think? They should have them. If they're advertising them, they should have them. But I do like this one. This one looks might be a new one. So let's see here. That one. Okay, and then you got these Fright Fest ones right here. This is the back. Obviously, they have the vampire one again. Cool little ones. Look at that. That looks good too. Okay, so offhand, I don't know as to how much the hoodies are. So they don't seem to have a price tag. Oh, here you go. $39.99 for that one. And as far as the t shirts, I do not know. I can't reach those up there. So they got them really high. You got this one right here. This is a long sleeve right here in this one. There's a price on that one, but yeah, nothing. Oh, yeah, it does have something on the back. Look at that, pretty cool. So, they got the music just blasting throughout. Just some of the merch that they have. They have this for the kitties because they do do Boo Fest here. They sell stuff like this for the children. So, don't know how much this one is offhand. So, there's yeah, here goes the price tag right here. I should have brought my reading glasses so so that way I could have seen the price on this so there's a price there for that okay so I'm doing my best here folks and then they also have hats now these are pretty cool these got me interested so is there anything on the back no just single hats I like the way I like these hats these hats are cool okay and so they do have some new merch. Look at this. This one is cool. Now this, this one is cool. Yeah, this is a cool one. So I like the way that that looks. Um, yeah, let's see the price on this one. This one might be a little bit more. Yeah, $44.99 for that one. They got some glow in the dark stuff. This one too, you can see that. Okay, and then also they have this, Night of a Thousand Frights. I love that t-shirt, that t-shirt looks cool. Um, and how much is the price on that? Um, $21.99 and that's a small, so I do like that. And then you can still see some of the stuff that they have for kids, okay. And then they have some cups. Here's the cups, and here is a new one. Okay. So here is a t-shirt that I like too. This t-shirt is really cool. I really like this shirt right here. And this one is $19.99. Yeah, I would definitely pay that for that. That is a cool shirt. And then they have the cups. These are cool. Oh my yeah. god. Those are the ones that they had last year. Are you sure? Yeah, and then that. I, I gotta buy one one year. I know. And they have the Michael Myers cups. Uh, but to keep in mind, you could go to Ross and nice. probably pick that cup up or at Walmart. They're carrying that cup. Um, and then they also have this one's cool the anime version of Fright Fest. I'm liking this piece. So it got the inseam on it. You see this anime looking one? This is anime the way they did that. And then they got that zippy. The zip up, yeah, that one is cool. 
and these right here. All right, folks, so my daughter pointed out, look at this sweater. This sweater is cool. She found this one. And this one, too, is $44.99. Flip it around to the side. Look at that. Wow. Look at the side. Yeah, I might want to get one of those. All right, folks, so here's going to be the entrance as to when you go walking in. They're going to probably close this off again like last time and gate it off as to when you're going to go through the park. They're probably going to have it to where there's only a certain area that they did last time to start getting people out that don't have a pass to get in folks but that's what they got going on and then the Oktoberfest here goes some of their guides right here you can see all that right there as to what they have what they're doing here some of the stuff that they're doing for Oktoberfest here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom so here's Club Fear right here you're gonna have your Haunted Express Pass interest your Haunted one um, but yeah they do have some stuff going on here this, they're getting ready to gear up, folks. This is the first one you're greeted with. All right, folks, so one thing Discovery Kingdom has that separates them from other parks is they have a shark exhibit. And that's one thing that's really cool about this park is the animals. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at some animals and then we're gonna get right to those frights. All right, folks, so check this out. They just built this all through here. Make it look like you're a cave in the shark exhibit. This is cool. This is really cool. I absolutely love this. And you're going to see as to why. If you've never seen my channel, you've never seen when I came here to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, this is why. They have a shark exhibit. So we'll see if we can get some sharks. Whoa, they got the thing running. You can see this. Look, there's one right there. Look at that. We got the one over there. This is really cool. Look. We got sharks there. They're just all over. And you can see through this side, they kind of got like a reef going on. And then you can see this. So you can see these little guys here. And then you can also see some stuff there. Look at this. They just did this whole thing. It looks amazing. Give you a quick view. Wow, they did a fantastic job on this. This just looks, this is cool. This is worth the price of admission. Right here, look at this. Yeah, what a way to start Fry Fest. I'm gonna tell you right now, this, this is incredible because I am an, uh, I love aquariums and I have some at home and it takes a lot. And you can see a little stingray there. They got everything up in here. So look, the stingray's moving. So I don't want to get no faces, but yeah, this, this is a thing of beauty and these guys, they did a good job on this. I'm so glad they refurbished this. So you can see him right there, just swimming all over. And then we'll go on the ground and show you how they decorated the whole outside. Look at this. Wow. This is just incredible. Absolutely love it. So yeah, this, these people are going nuts in here. This place is cool. And they got plenty of other windows as to where you can see things. This is cool. Let me walk out this way. I gotta do some floor, don't want no faces. Look, they got barrels, they got stuff up there so you can see what's in the tanks. They redid this whole Thing, folks this is a thing of beauty right here what a shark experience you can see that and then you come over here and they also have a tank here so it doesn't look like there's anything really in there on this one but they're gonna do something so you can see it they are remodeling this whole thing they got big sharks up top yeah they put some money up in here and then they have that over there, this cool looking area where you can see, makes you look like you're in the ocean. Yeah, this is just spectacular. This is beautiful the way that they did this. I absolutely applaud Six Flags for this. They really went all out. And when they say that it's a shark experience, they meant it is a shark experience, folks. 
All right, so there is a fish in there, and it's a trigger. And he's big. He's very aggressive, and he's mean. Um, that's him up there. So yeah, he's aggressive, and he's eating folks. Very aggressive fish. That's a trigger. All right, folks, so we are off to the Reaping Wharf, and they built a big old, you can see that right there, big old ship. These look good. They stepped it up, folks. Let's hope that the the haunt is as good. So far, so good. Um, I know that they've been getting a lot of backlash over the years for not doing enough, but so far, so good. You know, I would have personally have did this on the other side where the sharks are at, but that would be me. Maybe next time they can take that in consideration, especially after having that, that's gonna blow fog. So you would think that they would have this on the opposite side as to where the ships are, or where the shark is at. So, all right, so they have this right here. And then when you look over on this side, this is where one of their attractions, Lost Souls, is gonna be opening up a little later. So we'll see how it works out. All right, folks, so we're on our way to see the animals and we're going through the side here through a little trail and they got this thing just reaped out. Look at this, even they're all over the place in this trail and it looks real good they got caskets open caskets hopefully they have zombies or something like that going through here uh, we'll see what they tend to do this year they did this last year and there wasn't really much action going on in here so we will see but the difference is is they did this side also as well so it's just pretty cool there's bones skeletons going on this is one big like cemetery like huge I mean they really outdid themselves with this there's a lot of caskets up in here and it just keeps on going folks and it's still on this side and it's just the world look at this the dead they got to have some dead walking through here we'll see later on tonight as to what they do you can see that yeah, we will definitely see what they do. Hopefully they have zombies coming through here. We will see. All right, so the coffin bar is back, folks. And you can see that. They're getting ready, but here is the menu for that. You could take a look at the coffin bar menu. Some draft beers, some Fright Fest Skull, Cocktail Flight, Vampire's Kiss, Scream Slice, Screamsicle, uh, Zombie Brain Juice, Alien Blood, which is Potion, and syringes <laughs> but that's here all right folks so it looks like the animal exhibit is closed right behind me you can see they have uh, the lion and tiger uh, one of their little like exercise areas that they have and they have more on the opposite side of the park where the actual lion is at in his den but they added a cheetah this year so they do have a cheetah here i was hoping to be able to see that but couldn't get a chance to see him but as for right now now that the park is getting ready to go down and fright fest is getting ready to begin the animals are closed all right folks so you can see they got clowns all over the place and we are entering we are entering right here the slasher circus so yeah they added a few more so we'll see how this all works out uh, amongst this area uh, this area is usually pretty good but we'll see we got some clowns throughout I don't want to do no faces everybody's trying to get on camera but yeah you can see that we got the boot decked out just like um you got that cool two-headed looking clown right there the way he looks um, and we'll, we'll go right through here and check this out so you also have this one look at how good this looks they sprayed him pretty good he's gonna look real good at night more ground uh, half body ones that they got over there yeah so hopefully this area is pretty good um yeah there's more of it check it out i mean i would expect it to be a little bit more better but this is big top terror right here this would be one of the attractions uh you can see the line throughout you obviously go through there uh, to get scared. All right, folks, so they have Boo Fest in here. This is a little kid's area where they're gonna have trick-or-treating and everything else uh, throughout, so. 
So they do like a little trick-or-treating thing here for the children and it's already getting later so it's already done. People are starting to leave now leave the park because but they have an actual trick-or-treat area throughout here. You can see that they got that and they're giving bags of candy out to kids from all over but yeah it's already done folks so Fright Fest is about ready to begin. All right, so found some more merch throughout the kids area. Uh, in order to get these, you're gonna have to go here or through the first uh, store right when you walk in the park. And these are the Looney Tunes for Fright Fest. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is for the actual hot passes, it's gonna be $25 and with the Fast Pass will be $50. And there's only six houses here, folks. So. I know it could get pretty packed, so I don't know. So we'll see. All right, folks, so look right here. Here we have Midnight Mansion. Uh, this thing's gonna be going on later on tonight. Uh, here's one of the opening haunts. This looks really nice. I like the way that this looks. It looks cool. All right, folks, so you can see right here, they brung the spider back. So this is one of the scare zones here. Now the big spider here, and he's back. So. Here's the scare zone, we'll see how this works out. And it begins, folks! Here it comes! All right, folks, so we are entering Murder Mill. So this is a scare zone here at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. They have saws, folks. These are the big boys right here. They're very big. They have saws. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's your worst nightmare right there, folks. Holding this whole thing off. You got a guy right here just creeping, just waiting just to get out of that tree. Just lurking in the dark. Look at him. He can get you. They're doing it up. A little bit more actors here. We have another one down over here. I don't want to get no faces, but let's check him out right here. You can see this one. Cool looking mask, similar to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Waiting to see if maybe he'll fire up the saw. And they're just getting started, folks. All right, folks, so here is all the areas for the haunts and attractions. Haunt hours, scare zones, everything right here. This is one of the guys here um, at the entrance of this. He's letting me use his map, so that's what they got. So it looks like you guys have six haunted attractions. Um, technically, we have, uh, for the haunted houses, we have five. Okay. We have three that are regular one and the other, and there's a haunted house that's um, for third company, so you have to pay an extra for that one. But the thing with that one is you go in alone and not by a group. Oh, that's and weird, because she told me that I got all six if I had the band. Uh, I think she's, she counted the haunted trails as well. Oh. Uh, yes, because oh. the haunted mansions and the haunted trails are kind of, they're basically under the same group, but they're oh, just okay. separated a little bit. Yeah, they got to get that straight up front, so. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you though, man. Thank no you problem. so much. All right, folks, so I don't know if they're going to allow me to film in here. We are in line, uh, so at the Midnight Mansion, so they are starting to let people in. Uh, the actors are getting ready, so we're some of the first in line to get in. We got a regular pass, and we're already some of the first in line to get in here. So, you know, due to that, so you might want to come here maybe on a Sunday. All right, folks, so we are heading in first, so we'll see how it is. Don't know if I could film, but nobody told me I couldn't, so... Wow. Let's we'll see. Uh, I like the sound in here. It's cool. Very loud. Wow. Wait for something to jump out of me. This is pretty cool. They're waiting. I don't know what to think. She's, she's gonna be good. I would love Let's to play. Fun. Oh, I would love to. Oh, 
this is cool. Look at this. Oh, he got me. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, this is cool. Which way, boss man? Right here. Right on. Cool. Thank you. We got a guy sitting here. Look at this. This is cool. Yeah, this is cool. I like this, the way that it looks. He's cool too. Oh. We got a lady playing with her dolls. Okay, when you get that, there's only one thing that's wrong here. What's in there? Is that her baby? Or is she holding her twins? And she laughs about it. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Welcome to Halloween, folks. This is Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Not bad so far. My first attraction. Midnight Mansion. Really cool. And I think that might be it for the attraction. So, you got some haunt, some stuff going on over here. I think that that was it, folks, for that one. So, let's check it out and see some smoke. I'm seeing a lot of, oh, I'm seeing some smoke here. So they are definitely not done here yet. This is cool. I was wondering where my pumpkins went. And they are throughout here. So, yeah, here's my pumpkins. I can't tell who's who. This is really, really cool. Oh, he is lurking. Oh, look at this. This just looks cool. Yeah, this is cool. All right. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty damn cool. So, and they got these guys just everywhere, folks. All right, folks. So, Midnight Mansion done. Oh, not bad. A very good start. Uh, yeah, not bad. All right, folks. So, we are now entering Lost Souls. So, we're going to check it out. Lost Souls. See what it has to offer, any scares. We're gonna check it out. All right, so we are going into Lost Souls, folks. And we're greeted already. Wait here. You told me to wait. Ensure that the flash is off. Do not touch the vampires. And last but not least, make sure that all of your drinks are properly closed, including you. <laughs> gotcha. All right, Lost Souls, folks. No flash, everything else is good. So we're gonna check it out. Where's Noah? I'm dead yet. Where do we go? I think we gotta go this way. Go this way. Yeah, so we're going through here. Hopefully I don't get no copyright, folks, So, but we'll see. Um, Uh-oh. Being lurked. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, they got the stuff up in here, folks. They got some music going on, so we're going to see if we can get away from this for copyright. No point losing your over your head. I hope not. <laughs> I hope you don't lose your head like me. I don't want that. No I don't way. Think you do. <laughs> oh, this is not bad. Look at this. They got the right music here. Wow, heavy metal theme, folks. This is pretty cool. Look at this. Here we go, right here. I just feel like something's gonna come out of here. Are we following the right ones? Wow, they got the music jumping in here, just bumping like crazy. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get me on this one, so. And that's it. And the vampires walking off. All right, so Lost Souls, a little disappointing, I will say. Not enough going on in there, um, but could be. So it has potential. They definitely definitely need more scare actors up in there. 
uh, a little bit more makeup and everything else on their actors and have them dress a little bit more vampirish. you know I mean if there is a thing but I'm old school so when I hear vampire uh, I think of something different than what I saw in there but hey two down and what three more to go <laughs> all right now she looks pretty cool or he looks pretty cool Who here has no idea what's going on? Everybody, that's so good. So this is Even a freak us, show, freak true. show, yes. folks. Well, I tell you, this they is have this going live on, show. and they live shows are all about They've been energy. coming back year so after year. So more energy they're giving to us, the they more we're giving to them. So right back but they moved to them. you. So they're so right we got one question, one question only. The you guys ready to see a show? Say so yeah. You got to kind of look for it. Beautiful. That's good. That's a pretty good audience for a Sunday. It's not good enough for Frankie here, so I tell you what. So Frankie here, she wants to bring us all together. All together like one big happy family. And she's going to do it with one of these. Uh, it's a bullwhip. Look at that. Funny, that usually gets some applause. All right, yeah. Trying to keep up, trying to keep up. Kid, you're the only one to do it. I love you. That's good, yeah. Let's see. Let's do it again. Gives a little bit of ow. Gives a little bit of All right, folks, so we are entering the Slasher Circus. <laughs> oh, I didn't see him coming. Not a lot going on up over here. Let's see here. We got this dude over here waving at me. They're just all over the place, folks. All over the place. Because they're all over. All right, folks. All right, folks. So we're gonna enter Carnival. Check this out. Uh, see how good it is, and I'll let you know. Don't know if they're gonna let me film or not. But we're in, we're in line waiting to go in. All right, folks. So we are heading into Carnival. I'm gonna check this out. See how it is. Try not to get no faces. Got a little bit of a stretch here. So hopefully they let me continue filming. So, so far so good. So we will see, uh, heading up into here. So, yeah, so I don't know as to where we have to go in. We have to go right here. You guys ready? All right. All right, folks, so we are in Carnival. Let's check this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> something big right there going on. Wow. Look at that. Look at this. Get some fog. I had to go on another side over here. I almost kept going off into that wildness. Oh, a lot of stuff going on up over here. Wow. Whoa. Run into a wall. Watch it, guys. Gotta go this way. Well, don't know where I'm going here. Okay, let's see here. Is this the right area? Wow, a lot of stuff going on here. Which way do I go? Do I go in here? Whoa. Oh, boy. All right, folks, so we're still in. All right. We got this. He looks pretty cool. We gotta go into another one. All right. Got a lot of tarps in here. Oh, this is cool. He looks pretty cool. You can see that. Look at that. All right. So we gotta keep going. 
You got this. All right. So we're going this way. Carnival. It's hard to see. I know there's something up in here. So let's check it out. Folks. <laughs> All right. So do I go this way? All right. Oh boy, wow. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is freaking cool. Oh, hell yeah. This is cool. This is freaking cool. Hi. <laughs> come on in, come on in, come on I in. I can go in? Yes, yeah. come in. Fantastic. Whoa. Man, Welcome you have a lovely collection home. here. We have love. Wow. E -E. E -E. Oh, oh, wow. E -E. I see you like one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. All right. Cool. This is freaking awesome. Look at this. Oh boy. Wow, they got bag bodies. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. And the exit coming this way. I feel like something's gonna jump out and get me. Wow. This is cool. Oh, you got me. <laughs> we did. We did. All right, folks. So just finished Carnival. Absolutely love the theater part. Um, some to experience. They could do a little bit more with it. But so far, this is my favorite attraction right here because of that theater. That theater just lit it up. Reminds me of the popcorn movie and you know, like the old movies that we used to get back in the day when we used to go to the theaters. They were real creepy. Um, I absolutely love the end of this Carnival. It was pretty cool. All right, folks, so we are entering Sulphur City. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, folks, so we are heading in Sulphur City. Oh, I can hear it already. Wow. Wow, look at this. Oh, boy. Wow, I was greeted right there. She got me. Oh, it's dark. So they said no flash photography in here. Oh, my God. What is this? Whoa. Hey, hey. Oh boy, watch it. I got like these balloons I'm like stuck in. Oh wow, what the heck? Oh boy. Oh, this is odd. Wow, that was odd. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. A little creepy. Oh, uh oh. Is that gonna be my guts? Is that gonna be my insides right there?
this room. But nobody dies in my room. My room is blood-free. Oh, I love your lamp. That Thank lamp you. is you nice. You know what about the lamp? Your beautiful faces are going to be gone. Look at this. Oh, look at that thing. Body parts oh, on the floor. Uh oh, we got some coffins. Charlie's oh boy. Yeah, he didn't have a good face. Probably so. He could be my ex-boyfriend. But anyway. Which way do we go? This way? Over there. Or else? This way. This way? Right this there. Right here. Oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm going through guts. It's beef jerky. It's not really beef. It's not really jerky. But don't worry about it. Watch your step, guys. Alright, folks. Uh, Sulphur City wasn't bad. Uh, so far my favorite uh, out of all of them. Uh, but they could have used a lot more scare actors in there. If they had more scare actors, uh, yeah, it would have been pretty good. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't bad. But so far that one's leading the race. Uh, the um, way that it looked in there with the walls kind of re reminded me of House of a Thousand Corpses. And then it was a little weird, like right when you walk in, you get greeted with like these balloons. That you're like going through like these like pillows that you're like stuck in and you don't know what's coming out at the end of them uh but yeah my family had a blast and that one but the same thing that they said could have definitely have used more scare actors for sure but maybe next time but so far that's my favorite one all right folks so we're heading into the corpses crossing and it looks like this zombie here is giving directions didn't know zombies could talk but yeah he's Giving some directions. Ah! No, he looks all right. Alright folks, so we are back at our vehicle. It's a little after 9 already. Pretty much the park has emptied out. So my recommendation, uh, if you want to check out Fry Fest, would probably be do it on a Sunday uh, because there was no wait time to get in and we only paid for the $25 passes. You had $25 passes. They were standard uh, or you had to wait in line or you can do Fast Pass which was $50 each. Uh, which definitely today w I wouldn't have recommend it because there was no line um, and the other thing is is they're gonna tell you that there's six haunts here but one of them you actually have to pay even extra on top of that I think it was Big Top Terror so that was the one that we didn't do but as far as the 3d one um, I don't know if I'm gonna include the footage on this uh, video due to the fact that they had rap music blar blaring so loud in there 
Uh, I don't want to risk getting a copyright, um, not for this video. Um, because to be honest, overall, you know, there were six of us that comes out to 150 bucks on top of our Platinum Pass membership. Um, thank God for free parking, right? And free entrance because man, they would have really took us to the bank today. Uh, you be the judge. I, last time, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom Vallejo, I had a lot of people last year that were saying, well, you didn't go in the mazes. You didn't see how great the mazes were. I called you on your bluff today and the proof is in the pudding. Is it a magic mountain? Um, are the scare zones even close to magic mountains? Are the haunts even close? Not even close. Um, and I think magic mountain might even be cheaper to get into the haunts uh, and for fast pass. Okay. My recommendation for this Six Flags, uh, if you're one that wants to come and see a lot of extraordinary animals, yeah, do it. You know, it's kind of like a zoo, but make sure that they're on days where the animals are actually out. But as far as like my highlight of the evening, I would say it would be spending it with my family up here, which was really cool. And the other thing is the food's gotten better here. I will say that and the shark exhibit the shark exhibit was extraordinary absolutely loved it uh but i didn't get to see the new cheetah that that they brought out due to the fact that the animals were down today um and i didn't get to see no giraffes and tigers and lions and all that uh so maybe on another video i could come where all the animals are out um but that would probably be about it but you saw the haunts so i'm calling all you guys on your whatever you said about me last year uh, you didn't go into mazes, you didn't, okay, well, I did it this time. Now I feel like, to be honest, I feel like it was a bit of a ripoff. Uh, maybe it's just that we've gotten so extreme with our expectations. We have really high expectations. Uh, but I'm about almost giving up on this park. So as far as going to like a Six Flags, I might just stick with the Magic Mountain. Uh, due to the fact that there's scare zones alone. Just one scare zone alone just blows this whole... Uh, experience away and I'm, I'm just being honest with with the way I feel uh, I'm not including their haunts uh, or the actors I know the actors here work really hard but some of them were off to the side bullshitting with each other uh, some of them were uh, talking to people giving them directions and everything you're a scare actor do what you are paid to do that's it um, all right folks so like, comment, subscribe, and from most harm to yours, everyone, good night.